Barak to Yahweh, Barak to Yahweh Shai. All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakodash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders at Great Millstone that taught us his truth and who are ruling well through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom, peace, and love be unto you, Akim, that it has it in your lives to push his true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to help edify the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom, peace and love to you believers, you Akim, you few Akwafim, the children. You know, when I seen this, you know, the only thing that I can say is, wow, wow, you know? And this is a article from, um, what is that? The Weehan News, and it says, Can Cannibal of Puebla, um, um, Mexican man eats wife brains and tacos uses skull as ashtray you know wow and it's it's shocking you know to read although we know according to the scriptures you know according to prophecy that things like this is going to happen you know and the time of cannibalism is coming you know the time in which people are going to uh, uh, eat each other you know out of uh, de uh being desperate you know it's coming you know you got a bunch of wild Iscarites, you know, that are down, you know, in Mexico, that's crazy as hell, you know, and in other parts of South America as well. And that's the reason why the scripture speaks about the time is going to come when we're going to purge out the rebels, you know, because after America is destroyed and the elect is taken into the ships, you know, the 144,000 are going to go around the world judging, you know, the earth, you know, and the remaining tribes of Israel, you know, and the ones that ain't right, the ones that's off, you know, they're going to be uh, purged out and there's a scripture on that you know Salaki you bear with me I'll get it I'm not working with too much time you know on my uh, break I just decided to look at a few articles and I saw this one and the only thing that I could say to that is wow it says and I will purge out from among you the rebels and them that transgress against me I will bring them forth out of the country whither they sojourn and they shall not enter into the land of Israel and you shall know that I am I am Yahweh. Yeah, because you can't bring an individual like this, you know, into, you know, the sanctity, you know, or the the uh, the, the kingdom of heaven, you know, when we go to receive, you know, the first dominion. Because ultimately what's going to happen is, you know, that particular, you know, a, a, vile, a vile and wicked nature will be brought in as well you know so the ones that are amongst you know Issachar that's not right they're going to be judged by the heavenly father you know through the elect uh 144,000 that's going to be used you know to help purge out the rebels you know but you have righteous that are amongst Issachar that will be saved now to read a little bit of the article which this is shocking you know it's very shocking it says a shocking crime in Mexico has led to the arrest of a man known as uh, the cannibal of uh, Puebla. It says the 32 year old suspect identified as El Alvaro allegedly killed his wife while under the influence of a prohibited substance. You know, which when you take those particular substances, they open you up to all kinds of spirits. You know, when you take those particular drugs, you know, they open you up to spirits and those spirits come in and take over. But that's just a fulfillment of the scriptures because the scripture speaks about, you know, the spirits that are created for vengeance. You know, that in their fury shall lay on sore strokes. You know, the book of uh, Sirach, the 39th chapter. The scriptures speak in uh, Matthew, the 24th chapter, you know, about the, uh, the love of many waxing cold. Let me grab that real fast. Because these are the times that we're in. All right. And this kind of energy all right, that's on people through the spirits that possess them is going to be all over the city like the purge. So this is Matthew 24 and verse 12. It says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Now, when you go into the word for iniquity, the word there is anomia. And it says a condition without law. You know, the book. Um. I want to say there's Titus. It says right here in, it's either Titus or Timothy 
1 Timothy 1 and 9, it says, Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane, uh, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers. So the law is important, you know, for all of you that think that there's no need for a law. You know, yeah, you think that until you enter into a state or condition of without law. And that's where we headed, a condition or state without law, when people are going to have incontinent minds, which means not under self-control. For those that are not under self-control, that's the reason that you have a government. That's the reason why you have police. You know, that's the reason why you have a, 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 a judicial system. But all of that is getting ready to collapse and people are going to, you know, violate, you know, uh, Esau's particular laws in the country, the laws of the countries that they're in. All right. And they're going to do wicked things and crazy things such as this. All right. It says the love of many shall wax cold. And the word there for cold is psycho, psycho. All right. Psycho. And it says to breathe. It says by cooling. All right. But the word psycho goes back into psyche. And when you go into psyche, it's dealing with what? It's dealing with spirits. All right. It's dealing with spirits. So you have spirits that are created for vengeance. And these spirits are going to hop on people and they're going to uh, uh, turn them into, you know, uh, um, just just beasts, you know, craze, craves beast. Read a little bit of, uh, of the article. It says he is accused of dismembering her body, consuming parts of her brain and tacos and using her shadow skull as an ashtray, reported the mirror. The horrific incident occurred on June 29th and Alvaro was apprehended at the home in Puebla on July uh, 2nd. Authorities claim that he committed the crime under the orders of uh, Santa Marta, our, uh, our Lady of Holy Death and the Devil. See? So possession, you know? And these are our people. You know, and there's wickedness amongst our people and they have to be purged out. But ultimately, cannibalism is going to be on a rise. All right. The Heavenly Father is going to allow those spirits that are created for vengeance to be mingled in the cities. All right. People are going to be desperate and hungry and they're going to turn into savages. All right. They're going to have desperate minds. So I just wanted to report on that, you know. This is crazy as hell, and the only thing that I got for that is, wow, that's shocking. But however, hey, get used to it because we're about to see a lot of that. And we hope and pray that the Heavenly Father gives us the Holy Spirit to endure these times, all right, and to make it through until the end. Shalom.